Welcome, foolish mortals. There's no turning back now. Welcome, foolish mortals. That's right, there is no turning back now. Welcome, everybody. This is the Disney Life Happy Wife Podcast, and I am your host, Kristen. You know me. If it's a Disney life, then I'm a happy wife, right? <laughs> well, if you guys don't know that, I'm sure you will, you know, by the end of the podcast. This is the podcast where we talk about all things Disney. Not just Disney movies, not just Disney parks, not just Disney travel, not just Disney toys, everything. If it is Disney related, then I am definitely going to talk about it. So sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> so on today's episode of the Disney Life Happy Wife, we are going to talk about some of my favorite Christmas movies that you can find on Disney Plus. So one of my most popular episodes, I talked about some Disney Halloween movies. So today I thought I would kind of go off that and talk about Christmas movies because I realized I didn't have an episode where I was talking about Christmas movies and it is the holiday season. Christmas is going to be here in like, geez, less, less than three weeks. So as I'm recording this, it's December 6th. Um, so it's literally like just about two weeks away. It's crazy. This time of year is a very busy time for my family. Uh, we have, you know, Thanksgiving, obviously in November, we've got birthdays around that time. On the same exact day, I have my brand new brother-in-law, I have my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, and my husband's cousin, all on the same day. How crazy is that? And we have their birthday, then we have Thanksgiving, we have my birthday, which is not only my birthday, but my twin sister's birthday as well. Then in December, we have, oh, we have my, niece, my niece's birthday. Uh, before my birthday as well. Um, then we have, in December, we have my daughter's birthday, uh, December 19th. And then we have um, Christmas right after that. It's crazy. I'm sure I've forgotten stuff in there, but it's a crazy time. So the holiday season is upon us. So what better to talk about in today's episode than Christmas movies? It's going to be we're going to have two episodes um, in a row where we're talking about movies. So today I'm going to talk about some Christmas movies that I love that you can see on Disney+. Plus. But the next episode that I'm going to put out is also going to be a movie one. Um, I am going to be chatting with Emily about some Disney movies that came out either over the summer, um, Riot and the Last Dragon, Luca, and then we're going to be talking about the brand new Disney movie that just came out. Uh, right before Thanksgiving and Kanto. So I can't wait to talk to you guys about that, let you know what I thought, and for you guys to hear what Emily thought about it as well. But today, we're going to be talking about uh, Christmas movies. So let's let's get in the season and let's start talking about it. So these are in no way um, in order of my favorites. You know, a lot of them are movies that I really love, and I just can't put them in order of my favorite. I mean. You might hear me say, oh, this is my favorite. Oh, this is my favorite. I love them all. So let's, let's talk about it. So first one, when Disney Plus came out, it, you know, obviously it was a big deal. But when it came out, uh, the first Christmas it came out, there was a brand new Disney movie, brand new Christmas Disney movie. Or Disney Christmas movie? I don't know how you want to put it. But there was a brand new movie to Disney Plus, to Disney, that um, was on Dis Disney Plus, exclusive to Disney Plus. And it was star it's starring one of the best actresses. She is hilarious. If you've seen anything with her in it, you know that it's going to be good before you even watch this movie. And that actress is Anna Kendrick. So just me saying, Christmas movie, Disney Plus, Anna Kendrick, you have to know what this movie is. If you don't, I demand that you go to Disney Plus right now and watch that movie. <laughs> so that movie is none other than Noel. Noel is such a great movie. I, I love this movie. My daughter loves this movie. We watch it 
you know, since it came out, we've, we watched it a bunch the first year that it came out. Uh, I know we watched it a bunch uh, last year as well. And um, we've already watched it at least once this year. <laughs> so Noel is the story. And if you have not seen any of these movies before, I'm sorry, before I get into that, if you haven't seen any of these movies, uh, there might be sp some spoiler alerts. So either go watch the movie now <laughs> or um, just hear my synopsis of it and what I think. So Noel, Noel is the story of a girl who happens to be the daughter of Santa Claus. So the movie starts with a little girl waking up on Christmas Eve and she sees Santa at her tree. And they start talking and you realize that she is Santa's daughter. And you see Noel, little Noel and her brother Nick and Noel gets a great present and then Nick finds out that he's going to start his training as the next Santa Claus. So fast forward a few few minutes and it is modern time. Um Noel and Nick's father, Santa, has passed away, and Nick is now to become Santa Claus. And he, it's his first Christmas as Santa. So he's going through the training, and things happen throughout, and he, you know, is getting cold feet. He doesn't think he can do it, and he runs away, pretty much. And Noel kind of gives him the advice that, you know, he should take some time off and he should go. And he, takes that as I am just leaving and I'm going. <laughs> so he he runs away to Arizona and Noel follows him there with their head elf Polly and she looks for Nick and she makes some friends along the way and she tries to convince Nick to come back to the North Pole and be Santa and as we're going along, you know, you get the impression that maybe it's not Nick who should be Santa Claus. Maybe it's Noel. Because a lot of the things that they're saying Santa should have, it, Nick doesn't have it. Noel has it. And in the end, you know, there, there is this big meeting back at the North Pole, and Nick says, you know, it shouldn't be me, it should be Noel. And people are in an uproar. They're like, no, there's never been a female Santa Claus. Santa Claus is a man. It's not a woman. And in the end, you know, Noelle feels like she can do it. And she's not sure if she's quite ready for it yet. She heads out on her first Christmas. And along the way, she realizes she can do it. She is Santa Claus. So it's a great movie. Very girl power, you know, the fact that girls can do anything, even be Santa Claus. So I love that. And um, my daughter loves that movie. So go see it. If you have not seen it already, jump on Disney Plus and go see it. So first one on the list is Noel. Next one. If you haven't seen this and you have little kids, I recommend that you go see these two. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. These are two great movies that you definitely have to go see. They're on Disney Plus. They're great holiday movies. They tell these holiday stories from different characters. Um in one of them I know there is Scrooge McDuck and there's uh Huey Dewey and Louie and Donald and Daisy and it's one of my daughter's favorites because she loves Donald Duck. Donald Duck is her favorite from the uh the Fab Five, I guess as we call them. So Donald's her favorite, so she loves that one. And it tells a story of Huey, Dewey, and Louie wishing that Christmas was every day. And then them realizing, you know, how special Christmas is. And it isn't just about the presents. It's about, you know, what Christmas is really all about. So that's a great story. I know in another one, um, Goofy is trying to reassure his son, Max, that Santa is real and Max isn't believing him. And in the end, he does prove that Santa is real, which I love. Then one of the biggest Christmas stories that there is, is the gift of the Magi. And Disney does their own little spin on that with Mickey and Minnie. Great story. So if you have little kids, if you have kids in general, if, even if you don't have kids, if you haven't seen Mickey's once or twice upon a Christmas, 
go see those two movies. They're not very long, so I definitely recommend them. It'll definitely put you in the Christmas spirit. So next on our list is a movie that's actually a short film. So I think it's about 20 minutes, if not less. And I know that it was originally put out before, um, I think it was before Coco. I think it was. I came, I didn't see Coco in theaters, so I'm not exactly sure which movie it was. I vaguely remember hearing that it was Coco that it came out. Um, but anyway, it is from one of our favorite franchises in our house, Frozen. <laughs> it is Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Now, this is a true blue Christmas movie. There's Christmas songs, there's fun, there's our favorite or I should say Emily's all-time favorite princesses, Anna and Elsa, the amazing songs and voices that we've come to love from them. But it's based so much around Olaf, and it's based around Christmas traditions. And they're talking about traditions in the beginning, and Olaf asks Elsa, so does Anna, what their Christmas tradition is. And Elsa's basically like, we don't, we don't have any. and. So Olaf goes on this big adventure, his frozen adventure, to find all of the Christmas traditions in Arendelle and bring them back to the castle so that Anna and Elsa can have a Christmas tradition. And he and Sven set off. They go to all the houses. They get a little sidetracked going through the woods, coming back to the castle. And um, Olaf loses all of the tradition. And he's very sad, and he just sits in the woods, and when they can't find him, Anna and Elsa head out to look for him. Sven has come back to the castle, let them know that he's in danger. They come back and they look for him, and it's wonderful because Olaf says that he has no traditions for them, and he failed them. And Anna and Elsa let him know that while he was gone, they realized that they do have a Christmas tradition. And it's him. And it's just the most heartwarming thing. Um, When Anna and Elsa were separated, they tell him that when they were separated, Anna would put cards underneath Elsa's door. She even made a doll. That was all Olaf. So Olaf is their Christmas tradition. And it's beautiful. One of my favorite, all-time favorite Christmas songs is When We Are Together, which is sung at the end of the movie, uh, the short film, I should say. It's not a movie, short film. And it's just a wonderful song, and it will definitely put you in the Christmas spirit. I absolutely love, love, love this short film. The first time we saw it, I want to say, I don't know where, when we saw it, but I had no idea about it. I had never, I had heard about it, but I had never seen it, obviously. So the first time we saw it, when I realized that Olaf was their Christmas tradition, before they even said it, I yell out. <laughs> we were sitting at our, our dining room table and I could see the TV and we were watching it. And I heard them, and all of a sudden I realized and I said, Oh my God, Olaf is their Christmas tradition. And I said it, and literally tears started rolling down my cheeks. <laughs> I just got emotional, <laughs> but tears started rolling down my cheeks. And that's how you know it's a good, it's a good movie when it makes you that that emotional and you love it that much that you start crying so if you have not seen Olaf's Frozen Adventure it's a short film so it's it's not long but if you're looking for something quick to put you in the Christmas spirit or in the holiday spirit I should say um go go watch that it's on Disney plus and you definitely will not be be sad that you did you'll love it I if I loved it you'll love it trust me Okay, so next up on the list, uh, we just talked about Olaf's Frozen Adventure. So next up on my list is The Santa Claus. Now, The Santa Claus came out uh, when I was younger. So it has been interesting to watch it again as an adult with my daughter. Uh, Emily seemed to really like it. She, of course, any, you know, 
telling of of Santa Claus she's really interested in. So she seemed to really like this one, which was great. I was super excited that she liked it. I have always loved The Santa Claus. So if you have not seen it, The Santa Claus is a Christmas movie about a dad who is divorced and he has his son for Christmas Eve and on Christmas Eve uh, he and his son hear some clamor on the rooftop. That clamoring and that noise happens to be Santa Claus. Um, and the dad, um, Scott, his name is Scott Calvin. Um, Scott is played by Tim Allen, who, for those of you who don't know, Tim Allen is also the voice of Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story movies. Um so Scott has not always been the best dad to his son. And so he has him on Christmas Eve. He wants to make it a good one for him, for his son. And he hears this noise. His son hears this noise. And they go outside. And Scott ends up knocking Santa Claus off the roof. And I'm guessing that Santa Claus dies. I don't want to tell Emily that. But Scott takes you know, Santa's coat and puts the coat on, not realizing that he is entering the quote unquote Santa Claus, Claus, C-L-A-U-S-E, Claus. And that means that the other Santa being gone, Scott put on the coat, Scott becomes Santa. So the whole movie pretty much is around, you know, from when that happens on Christmas to the following Christmas and what happens to Scott in the process and how he comes to the realization that he is Santa Claus. So it's really great to watch that and see that. And in the end, you know, seeing him accept that he is Santa Claus and him becoming a better father to his son, Charlie. Um, And it's a really great movie, really heartwarming. They actually ended up making a couple of sequels. We get introduced to Mrs. Claus in one of them. And it's really wonderful. It's a great movie. Um, I highly recommend it. It's high on my list of Christmas movies that I love. And if you have not seen The Santa Claus, I recommend it. Go out and go see it. It's on Disney Plus, like I said. So next on the list is another movie that came out when I was a little kid. Um... I'm not sure exactly. I will have to look and, you know, put it in the notes or a comment or any, or something. Uh, see exactly when this movie came out. I'm going to look it up on my phone as I am recording this. Um, so another great Christmas movie that I love, which came out in 1990. So I was eight years old when this came out. Um, starring Macaulay Culkin. If just by that name, you should know which movie I'm talking about. Christmas movie, Macaulay Culkin, came out in the 90s. It is Home Alone. So Home Alone is the story about um, a little boy who gets left home alone when his family goes on vacation. And there's so many people in their party and they think that, that he is with them. And his name's Kevin, Kevin McAllister. And... His whole family thinks that Kevin's with them until all of a sudden they realize Kevin's not there. So in this movie, you see Kevin dealing with being home alone. You know, he's so used to a noisy, busy house. And then all of a sudden he gets his wish that he is by himself. And you see him learning to deal with that. And while he is, you know, having the time of his life being by himself, there's also these two bad guys, these two burglars that are going to people's houses while they're out of town for Christmas and they're breaking in and stealing things and they see the McAllister's house which is a beautiful house and they see them leaving and they're like okay they're gone you know we can go and we can you know steal their stuff and whatever but then they realize that Kevin is still there and they're like it's just a little kid um so we see them thinking of how to get there, Kevin realizing what's happening and trying to defend his house. And also we see his mother trying to get back to Kevin. And it's a really great movie. Very fun, very funny. 
Um, I can't remember if we've watched it with my daughter yet, but it's a really great movie. And I completely recommend it for all of the uh, the families out there. It's it's a great family movie. So I definitely recommend it. Definitely great family Christmas movie. Go to Disney Plus. Go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. If you have seen it, go watch it again. Uh, they did a sequel. Um, they did a couple of sequels, but they did Home Alone 2 Lost in New York with Macaulay Culkin a couple years later. And I know they've done a Home Alone 3, and they just came out with a brand new kind of like a spin or a redo on Home Alone, which is Home Sweet Home Alone. I have not watched it yet, so I'm not sure how close it is to Home Alone, but it's supposed to be a redo of that. So I have to check that out too. I'll have to check that out and let you guys know what I thought. So go see Home Alone if you haven't checked that one out yet. Next on the list. So I bet you guys have been waiting for me to talk about this one. Um, the Muppet Christmas Carol. So I love the Muppets. I have loved the Muppets since I was a little girl. So anytime that I get to watch a Muppet movie, um, in addition to my Halloween list of movies is the new Muppet Haunted Mansion that just came out, which was great. I absolutely loved it. But the Haunted Christmas Carol, the Haunted, I'm sorry, the Muppet Christmas Carol is one of my absolute favorites. I remember watching this movie with my dad, so I've got nostalgia there. So it's a telling of The Christmas Carol, which is a classic Christmas story. Um, it's it's that telling, but with the Muppet spin on it. You know, so you have all your great classic Muppets. Uh, Miss Piggy's in it, Kermit, Gonzo, all of the greats. So if you love The Christmas Carol, if you love The Muppets, definitely go check this one out. Um, I would, I wholeheartedly recommend it. So definitely, 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 definitely go check that one out. Uh, next on my list is Babes in Toyland. Babes in Toyland is a great one. I know they have done this one and redone this one a whole bunch of times. The one that is on uh disney plus is the 1961 version so there have been a bunch i know i remember watching one that had uh drew barrymore i think was in it um and that's one that i can remember watching but babes in toyland is such a great christmas movie so i definitely recommend that one go out and watch that if you haven't i have not watched that with my daughter yet um so that might have to be one that we watched this year it's it's a really good one I mean and this one's like an older version so if your kids are really into like cartoon and like um animation and CGI and all of that kind of stuff it may not be up their alley but if you're looking for a great classic Christmas movie definitely check out Babes in Toyland it's a great one next on my list is Winnie the Pooh a very merry poo year <laughs> Mary Pooh year. Oh my gosh, I love it. So Winnie the Pooh is big favorite in my house. Anytime Emily has loved Winnie the Pooh uh since she was, you know, a baby. And, you know, she's gonna be seven in a couple weeks, but we still love Winnie the Pooh. We love going on the Winnie Pooh ride Winnie the Pooh ride in um Magic Kingdom. We love going to Crystal Palace and seeing the Winnie the Pooh characters there, Pooh, Piglet. Tigger and Eeyore. So we love meeting uh, Pooh Bear whenever we get a chance to. He's just a big favorite. So any Winnie the Pooh movie is great. And the fact that there is a Winnie the Pooh Christmas movie makes it that much better. It's a great movie. I can't, I know that Emily has not seen it. I've seen it, but I know that Emily hasn't seen it. So I can't wait to watch it with her. I think she will absolutely love it. And I can't wait to tell you guys what she thought of it. So I may have to watch it with her this weekend and we'll add it to our podcast episode uh, next week and let you guys know what she thought of that. And now we're coming down to the last one on my list. The last one on my list is kind of, it's one of those movies where it could be, it could be a multi-holiday movie. <laughs> and just me saying that should tell you guys what movie this is. So, if you know me, 
you know that I am a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack, Sally, Zero, they are some of my favorites. And every Halloween, we watch Nightmare Before Christmas at least once. And, you know, it's it's called Nightmare Before Christmas. So, obviously, there's Christmas in it. So, why not watch it for Christmas, too? I mean, it's one of those movies where you could literally watch it for both. And it's... It's a big debate. Which What movie is this? Is it a Halloween or is it a Christmas? Well, I say, why can't it be both? It's the story of Jack Skellington, who's the pumpkin king, the king of, the king of, I almost said the king of Christmas, the king of Halloween. And he stumbles through this, through the woods into this area where he finds these different doors. And he, he's like, you know, what What are these? And he goes through the Christmas tree door, the Christmas tree door, which brings him to Christmas town. And what, what does he see there? He goes through the whole song, What's This? And he sees all these different Christmas things. And he, you know, is trying to tell the people of Halloween town what it's all about. And he's like, you know what? I want to do this. I, I want to give, I want to give, he calls him Sandy Claus, um, Sandy Claus or whatever. So he's like, I want to give him the year off. And I think the folks of Christmas of Halloween Town should do Christmas this year. So that's what he does. But it doesn't exactly end up the way that Jack wants it to. Or how he's hoping it will. So you kind of feel bad for Jack there. Um, but it's it's one of those, it, you know, it ends with a happy ending, I guess we'll say. But it's it's one of those movies. It could be a Halloween movie. We watch it every Halloween. But it could be a Christmas movie, too. I watch it at Christmas. Um, my daughter is one of the people that says it's a Halloween movie. It's not a Christmas movie. It's a Halloween movie. So I give her that and let her let her go there. Um, but I personally think that it's both. So I watch it for both for both holidays, Christmas and Halloween. So there you have it, folks. That's my list of Christmas movies to watch on that are on Disney Plus right now. Christmas movies that I love, Disney movies, movies that are on Disney Plus right now um, that you can watch for Christmas. So my list is Noel, great one. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, Olaf's Frozen Adventure, which is a short film. It's not, you know, a full movie. Uh, the Santa Claus, you can watch that one or any of the... Um, well, I recommend that one first, but you can watch any of the sequels after. There's a two and there's a three. Uh, Home Alone, The Muppet Christmas Carol, Babes in Toyland, Winnie the Pooh, A Very Merry Pooh Year, and Nightmare Before Christmas. So that is my list. If you guys have any movies that you would want to add to that list, please let me know. I would love to add more to my Disney Christmas Christmas uh, movie list. And if there are any good ones that are on Disney Plus that I haven't talked about that you like, please let me know. I know there there are a couple that I haven't seen that I would love to add um, to this. Uh, I know like Prep and Landing I've never watched. So I would love to add that to the list. Uh, I think there are a few others. Snow Buddies that are about um, the little golden retriever puppies. I haven't watched that one either. Um so we'll see. And hopefully I'll get a chance to watch Home Sweet Home Alone and Emily and I can talk about that. Uh, if she watches it with me, if she doesn't, then I'll talk about it. <laughs> so and we'll go from there. So those are my my picks for Christmas movies that I love that you can find on Disney+. Plus. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out to listen to this episode and hear what I have to think about these amazing Christmas movies. So where can you hear more episodes? Well, obviously where you are listening now, but uh, you can also listen to us on my blog, The Disney Roadie Mom. So it's Disney Roadie, R-H-O-D-Y-M-O-M.com. So Disney Roadie Mom, all one word, dot com. You can listen there. You can listen on Buzzsprout, Buzzsprout, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, Pandora, all the places. 
pretty much, I know they have a new feature on Facebook right now. So if you go over to the Disney Life Happy Wife podcast Facebook page, you can head over there and listen there as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so pretty much anywhere you can listen to podcasts, you can listen to us. So go out and listen and subscribe, like, give us a comment, a review, all of that. I love that. So I read all of the reviews. I read, you know, any comments you might have, and I will gladly respond to them, you know, right here on the podcast. If you have any comments, you know, you don't want to leave a public comment, you want to send me an email, you can email me at uh, dlhwpodcast. So d l h w podcast at gmail.com you can also dm me on any social media where you can find us uh, i'm on facebook instagram twitter any of those uh in- instagram and facebook it is disney life happy wife podcast all one word and twitter is uh d l h w podcast you can find me there as well and just a little bit a uh, little tidbit for you guys i'm also starting a youtube channel so um for the time being i know at least this episode might be the last one that's just audio i may start trying to record myself as as i am recording uh the podcast so that's gonna be new uh youtube channel i will put a link in in the show notes so you guys can check that out um And we're also hopefully going to be a part of a brand new network of YouTube creators, uh, podcast shows, all that kind of stuff on YouTube. It's the FPE Network. Uh, We're going to be a part of that. So definitely check that out once uh, it comes out. It's going to be great. There's a whole group of YouTubers and podcasts and all that kind of stuff through there. And they're awesome. And like I've been doing the past few episodes... I do want to throw some love out there to some other Disney, um, Disney podcasters and stuff like that. Definitely go out and check out, uh, the Disney underground podcast. They are completely awesome. I love them. They're one of my favorites. Um, so definitely, definitely check them out and go check out the Florida park explorers over on YouTube. Totally awesome. YouTube channel, definitely, definitely, definitely check them out. So the Disney Underground and Florida Park Explorers, two of my absolute favorites, definitely go check them out. And I'll let you guys know, I'll keep you guys updated when the um, FPE network is up and running and let you guys know about all the amazing shows and podcasts, YouTube channels, all that kind of great stuff that you can listen to and uh, watch from there. Okay, so that's it for this week, guys, and I will be putting out a new episode next week. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that episode out with me and Emily, and we'll be chatting with you guys about some movies that we've seen that we really love and let you guys know what we think, okay? So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to listen to my podcast. It means the absolute world to me. And I will see you guys next week and have a magical rest of your week, everybody. Now I and a ghost will follow you home. <laughs>